Hey guys, what's up? This is your friend Mainal from Civil Center and I welcome all of you back to our channel and another video on Tekla Structural Designer. So friends, in today's video, we'll talk about how to apply UVL. So before that, let's understand a brief concept why this UVL is required and how to apply in the Tekla Structural Designer. So basically, uh, what in case of applying dead loads on buildings, we use the UDL more often so it's a uniformly distributed load so you all know about that and the uvl is uniformly varying load so uh, in which cases we can apply it so let's uh, just uh, look into it so uh, now uh, suppose we have uh, we have made a separate video on how to calculate the dead load you can watch that but for now uh, for the brief understanding of uh, today's topic let's just uh, have brief calculation suppose the height of a wall, height of a wall is 2.9 meters. So 2.9 meters is after you know reducting the beams, and uh, just write 2.9 meters. And uh, the uh, unit weight, the approx unit weight of uh, the brick and uh, the mortar combined together. Let's just uh, make a uh, you know this approximation. So let's that it be 15 kilo newton per uh, meter square uh, brick and the mortar combined and we know that it, uh, it is different for different bricks and uh, mortar it's, it's 20 kN per meter square but uh, I'm just taking average here so unit weight and the thickness of the wall wall thickness including the mortar let it be uh, your uh, 10 inch or 0.25 meters so uh, if we are uh, you know if we are able to find out the uh, weight acting due to the wall on the beams this comes in the form of UDL so you can just and just write this so that you can have an idea weight of the wall on the beams so when you are giving the UDL in the Tekla structural design or any uh, structural design software so this is basically the weight of the wall on the beams so how to calculate it it's basically the height into the unit weight into the thickness uh, if we just multiply it it will be 2.9 cross uh, 15 cross 0.25 so for a normal 10 inch wall the loading will be a 2.9 into 15 into as 0.25 it's a bit around 10.9 so let's write 11 uh, kilo newton per meter square so that's how we you know calculate the unit weight of wall on the beams uh, but suppose but suppose we have a structure like this and um, just uh, for example we're showing a sloped roof like this and the base is at the same level for both and the roof is a little bit slant like this you can even increase it show you the roof is like this and uh, the wall but the uh, you know elevation the wall in the elevation is uh, at the same level that is like this so it's like this. So uh, now, uh, if you if 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 there is a beam here, suppose there is a slant beam here for the slant proof, and uh, the loads are acting uh, on it. So how to apply the UDL? So one way is uh, we'll take the maximum loads. So for taking the maximum loads, uh, we'll we can have this particular length, and we definitely know that will be the height height of the uh, particular brickwork. So let's say this height is your uh, one meter and uh, this height is uh, 0 0.5 meter and uh, but we can take the height of this one meter there's a maximum one and apply it as a udl on all the particular this beam so that we can do or else uh, what we can do is we can apply the uvl so uh, like, let's see uh, and i'm making uh, a small structure like this uh, we'll just take uh, this structure and uh, we'll just take this height of let's say uh, three meters, three meters here, and uh, we'll take, uh, let's say, four meters here, and we'll create a slant roof, and then uh, after uh, this particular next level, we'll create at your. Uh, this will be a little bit. Let, let's take a little bit more. This let's take at five or six okay six meters will be the next level and 
here we'll see here it will be two meters so like this we'll just make let's make uh, this model vector structure design and apply the uvl and we'll just understand the basic concept behind it okay so uh, now uh, let's go to model here a new file has been opened the construction levels and insert level below and uh, that's that's no, not an issue like minus 1.2 meters that for the foundation so we're not concerned with that now so the first level which we'll create and it will be ssl definitely will have a slab and the spacing will be uh, three meters and the slab thickness let's get 100 mm and this this will be the first you know uh, the level and the next level we can do at four meters and the next level we can do at uh, uh, six meters so like this will be our levels here so uh, next level insert the next level at insert above and the spacing will be at uh, one meters so it will be at four and uh, insert above and this spacing will be two so it is at six so click on ok and uh, now we need to create uh, some grids here so let's create a rectangular grid here so in the model i will have this uh, rectangular wizard and uh, we are to create the grids in all the levels and then uh, the grid number of grid lines will be uh, base will be two or even one let's do one and length let's okay let's keep it six meters just to show and this also one six meters and then click on okay uh, so after this has been done uh, let's place the columns so we'll select the columns here and uh, uh, while placing the columns we'll make sure that uh, the particular height at which it will be the base level will be the same the top level as you can see the top level will be at uh, this is this is your zero this is your three so like this we can make uh, let's revise the construction levels once again so this is this is your uh, structure one will be at three and uh, so we'll just do the top level as uh, one top level as one for this and place the columns so after the columns are placed you can see in the structure 3d and uh, the next set of columns for the next set of columns the uh, particular point will be structure 2 and as you can see here this is the kind of uh, structure which we are working with and then we can join the beams here you can join the beams here as well so this is the kind of structure which we are applying uh, which we are looking to apply the uvl uh, now the for particular loads which are acting it uh, suppose it is acting like this which we are talking about suppose it's acting like this and uh, so we'll calculate the uh, load of the bricks here and here and we'll try to apply the udl on it and uh, so let's get started so suppose the weight of the wall on the beams at end one i'm just calling this left one end one uh, end one will be your uh, we have the height of uh, three meters wall thickness let's take the same uh, this uh, 15 kN will be the same and wall thickness is also the same so at end one the loading will be your uh, let's calculate that 3 into 15 into 0.25 it will be 11.25 and uh, in n2 we calculate the same thing in n2 so uh, it will be in n2 uh, this will be 2 so 2 into 15 into 0 0.25 and this will be 7.5 so uh, 7.5 and this will be the loading here and uh, so this 
11.25 and 7.5 these are the two loadings which we have to give so we'll go to loads here and we'll select the dead load and we have the UVL here as you can see this this is the option of full UDL which we generally apply and we also have the option of this uh, VDL varying loads and uh, you will have this option of uh, this element uh, 1 and 2 so we'll just select this and select this and after that uh, you can change it select this and load start so we have this load start and uh, load uh, load end so load start if we give as load end first of all we'll give as 7.5 and load start will give as 11.25 so when we do that as you can see the VDL or the varying loads has been applied so in this case you can apply the varying loads like this on the particular structure so uh, what is the difference between these varying loads and UDL as you can see this this particular load is varying uh, uniformly from this end to this end and uh, the kind of uh, structure which we are observing as you can see the load is also acting like this so you can go for economical design if you do that or else if you can you can consider the maximum UDL uh, uh, full UDL and uh, this uh, 11.25 is the maximum UDL uh, we can apply it along the entire span so you can do that this, this this also but this will be like more economical and this will be more accurate than that so we already know how to apply the udl uh, for the wall of, uh, wall of the load of the wall on the beams and today in the today's video we have learned how to apply the uh, vdl or the varying loads in the tecla structural designer software and also we have known how to apply it so if you like this video do share with your friends and also if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet do subscribe and this was a doubt of one of our students for the recorded session of tecla structural designer i hope that uh, uh, your doubt has been cleared and uh, if you want also support from us and uh, guidance from us you can also join our record session of the tecla structural designer using the link which has been given in the description so that's all for today's video see you in the next video remember one thing keep learning civil center is here to guide